Hello friends and welcome to TechEJack in Exchange Server 2016 training. In this video we will be testing our resource mailbox and contact mailboxes. So let's get started. Right now I am on a Exchange Server and let's have a look on our Active Directory users. Uh, I'm inside a sales uh, organization unit and we have a user like uh, Raj, Alicia, Laura William and Sandy. So what we are going to do we will log on to the Outlook mailbox of Sandy and we will try to create a meeting request where we will include Alicia and Laura in that meeting request and let's see how we can perform this task. So let me go to the client machine. I'll minimize this and let's go to the client and I will log in with the new user created that is Sandy. Let me open the Outlook for Sandy and select the advance option and click on connect at this time I'm selecting the advance option and I'll select the exchange account I'll click on yes and once more I believe it will prompt us for the certificates click on yes click on next done ok use the recommended settings ok it says the logon has failed so let me try to open it once again now it says connected to Microsoft Exchange. It's setting up a local copy of your mailbox. That is fine. And here you can see it's connected to Microsoft Exchange. So it's a fresh account and no email is inside this. So let's try to create a new meeting request we will go to the calendars and for 14th it's a Sunday okay we will create a meeting on Sunday and click on new meeting and in the 2 we will include Laura William Alicia and our training room as a room mailbox so we will click on OK and you can see the start time and the end time if you at, at that time like at what time you want to start your meeting on Sunday you can schedule your time like 8.30 to 9.30 that is for one hour it says here it show you like fair, poor or good. So let me see. We have a meeting on Sunday for training process training. Okay. Let's see if this request get accepted or not. Okay, and let's subject meeting on Sunday. And we have included Laura and Leisha. So let me try to send it now. 
now this schedule has been booked and let's see if this request is accepted or not it says accepted uh, the training room accepted meeting on Sunday that is fine that means our meeting has been accepted your request was accepted because right now the request we have on a automatic mode like uh, there is no one who can delegate this to approve the meetings so it is accepted so let's see on a let's log out this and go to the Leisha account I will log on as a Leisha okay I think the Leisha is also the first time user we are logging on to let's open Outlook for Leisha accept advance let me select the account manually and I'll select the exchange exchange yes for the certificates again yes so click on next and done on automatic setup okay here you can see it says connected to Microsoft Exchange and to Leisha we have sent previous email as well that uh, this uh, she was in a distribution group so the previous emails was there as well so she has received all those emails and you can see the meeting request meeting on Sunday and sent by the Sandy so she can just open this and we have a meeting on Sunday location is training room and the timing and the date is that you can just reply to this you can just accept this meeting if you accept this that means you are coming on Sunday for the meeting okay send the response now that means uh, Leisha has accepted the meeting that means she's going to come uh, on Sunday so let's go to the another account our another account was Laura William so let's log out this one and let's go to the Laura William and Laura William is going to reject the request okay now we are logged in as a Laura William and let's open Outlook for Laura let's select the exchange server and accept the request for the certificates done okay now we are inside the mailbox of Laura William and Laura William is sharing the customer service email as well here you can see that and if you're seeing like please respond to this mail and I said decline that Laura says decline send the respond now so Laura is not going to come for the meeting so let's see our mailbox for Sandy like what we have received on Sandy's Outlook okay now we are 
logged in as a Sandy and let's see the outlook Alicia has accepted the request and Laura has denied the request and now you can see the Sandy email box and you can see the Alicia has accepted this meeting and you can see the Laura has declined the meeting by this way you can confirm like who is going to come on to the meeting or who is not uh, able to come to the meeting and if we go to our exchange server you can see here we can delegate our resource mailbox like this is a training room and same way you can do with the equipment mailbox as well you can reserve your equipment mailbox as well at the training room uh, if you go to the property and if you want to delegate someone to accept and approve the meeting request you can just uh, go here and set that delegation to accept or decline the booking request and you can just click add and as an administrator or anyone like the manager or you want someone to delegate this one I'm going to add the administrator and clicking on OK and save now the administrator will approve these meeting requests and the same way you can see the contact is something like you have a email address of uh, the outside email address like uh, we have a John as a mail user that means uh, John is having a sorry it's a Jack uh, Jack is a mail user so Jack is having a active directory account with us and John does not have active directory account that's why it's a mail contact having no active directory account having an external email address with a like uh, john at gmail.com and Jack as a active directory user having a external address as well if you go to the properties of this one it's having a local at uh, logon name as a Jack at techiejack.com that means it's a active directory logon name but it's carrying an email if you go to the email address it has a true email address like uh, patrick at checkyjack.com and uh, the patrick at gmail.com that means someone is sending uh, email to a patrick uh, at techiejack.com that means if this email is forwarded to patrick at gmail.com that means anyone sending the mail to the patrick at techiejack.com is going to forward this email to a patrick at gmail.com you have to sell, uh, set the forwarding for this email as well so uh, the sending is uh, normal like you can send the email by just uh, creating an email and putting this contact uh, information like email address and typing your message and you can send that it's not a big task there so rest of the thing we will be covering on our next video so guys please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and let's meet in the next video.